Hey, Jim, and Denver's theater scene is celebrating 50 years by finding new ways to respond to the needs of its audiences. Su Teatro will soon open its production of Chicano Sing the Blues. Our Michelle Griego showing us how the theater company is using the stage to promote community mental health. I don't believe in blood. A ballad mocks Arizona's controversial Show Me Your Papers law. The catchy tune making light of an anti-immigration measure that's instilled fear and anxiety in a generation of Latinos. Su Teatro launched a drama versus trauma to explore generational trauma in the Chicano community, realizing their stage work triggered repressed memories. Their audiences were hungry to share their own stories. It was an opportunity for us to heal to talk things through. Um, we at one point had to bring in the EMTs for one of the shows because somebody just started to have this tremendous flashback. Unleashing the therapeutic power of theater, this play explores the connections between Chicano music and black R&B, celebrating the strength of communities in creating art as a means of healing. When we ask those questions about, okay, how did they create this incredibly gorgeous, beautiful reaction? to pain, suffering, slavery, disenfranchisement. Yolanda Ortega has performed with Sue Teatro for 48 years. She says audiences love seeing their own stories come to life, the good times and the tough ones too. It also leaves you with some hope. And uh, not that we have the solution in our shows, but it, it leaves you with that, yeah. I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. After the mass school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, performing the soulful music has been especially cathartic for the cast. And I think it felt good to know that we're we're reflecting what people are feeling because we feel it. Michelle Griego covering Colorado first. Wonderful Chicano sings the blues opening at Sioux Teatro 7th and Santa Fe on June 9th. There will be trauma coaches on hand for an audience talk back. Learn more about the Drama versus Trauma Initiative at CBSDenver.com.